Okay, so Dr. Anthony Fauci just gave a truly ludicrous interview. Let's roll the clip. No one plays that clip. They always come back and say Fauci was responsible for closing schools. I had nothing yeah. to do. I mean, you're, I mean you're, let's you're... get down to the fact. He's claiming he had nothing to do, nothing whatsoever to do with schools closing across the country. He's saying that now because uh, the data's in and closing schools was totally asinine. It led to skyrocketing mental health issues. It led to increases in domestic abuse. It contributed to growth in poverty and world hunger. And it led to a terrible decrease in educational attainment, especially for kids who live on the margins. Uh, there were people who warned this all along and who also pointed out that COVID was never that big of a threat to kids. Let's roll that clip. As much as I respect you, Dr. Fauci, I don't think you're the end all. I don't think you're the one person that gets to make a decision. We can listen to your advice, but there are people on the other side saying there's not going to be a surge and that we can safely open the economy. And the facts will bear this out. But if we keep kids out of school for another year, what's going to happen is the poor and underprivileged kids who don't have a parent that's able to teach them at home are not going to learn for a full year. For daring to point out the obvious, that was U.S. Senator Rand Paul, he received comments like this for going up against Fauci for saying the schools should stay open. Honestly impressed by Rand Paul's commitment to being a gigantic piece of shit literally all the time. Still team Rand Paul's neighbor who assaulted him and almost killed him. Can't believe I live in a country where the nation's leading infectious disease expert has to explain to a senator what we really ought to be careful about when it comes to children. Yeah, you do, because guess who was right? Rand Paul. Guess who was wrong? Fauci. And now he wants to gaslight you and tell you that he had nothing to do with schools closing, nothing to do with pandemic policies, nothing to do with advocating for a federal approach that would have kept schools closed unless schools jump through all kinds of hoops to meet their pandemic standards. None of this was ever worth it, by the way. We now know proof positive COVID was never that big of a threat to kids. So now Fauci wants to come in and gaslight you and tell you he had nothing to do with closing schools. Find me one clip of that man, one clip of him advocating schools staying open. You can't. Read more at Base Politics.